Well, I want to welcome everyone to the 2000, excuse me, uh, 2020 Reno County Service Awards. And this year, because of the pandemic, each of the departments were asked to do a celebration within their own, uh, with their own building. So here we are today. And the two people that we're honoring are Danny and Helen. And Helen started work on May 18th, 2015. She's driven routes and paratransit and county and she's cross trained in dispatch and she keeps us all laughing with her stories about her pet chicken <laughs> and goat <laughs> <laughs> and through dog bites and high winds oh. and position vacancies that have caused overtime over and over and over again Helen has always been there to drive the bus to drive the van to answer the phone or whatever we needed because she cares about the people that ride every single day. So Helen, thank you so much for your service for Neal County. And I want to give you this award on the behalf thank of you. the county. And there's a gift also. Thank you. Thank you. And then thank you. From us at our cat, I want to give you this certificate, and this is a, a writer appreciation. Oh. And this is for five years of always being able to help us out of sticky scheduling jam. <laughs> Thank you. And Danny started working for our cat on February 11, 2015. So tomorrow is actually your sixth mm -hmm. anniversary with us. And you have primarily been a paratransit driver, but you filled in on routes when we need you to. And Danny, you're always cool in a crisis. And I've always appreciated that about you. Uh, we've had to call on Danny to pick up passengers when we've had our cat accidents with fixed route buses. And I clearly remember one time you actually went uh, because you knew they were going to call you and you were there ahead of time. And by the time I was able to arrive, you had already collected the names of the people that were on the bus, which is part of the protocol that we have to have. And you'd already done that, and I really appreciated that, Danny. It was nice to, uh, to know that that was being taken care of. And you've always helped passengers, even though they have pushed the limit on our grocery <laughs> rules, because you did not want their... their uh, perishables to perish before they were able to get them home. Um, you're always very observant and you report things before they become an issue. And I know that you care about our community and the people that live here and thank you Danny, very much for your service to the town. five years of being a rock for our cat you never let us down just the bus lift so. <laughs> congratulations thank and thank you so much uh -huh. for the work that you do for Reno County every single day we're just uh, so uh, lucky to have you I want to work here and you guys are, are great so we really, really appreciate that <laughs> And uh, we do have some refreshments. We have <laughs> we have chocolate cake and white uh, cake treats. <laughs> as long as and some punch if you if you aren't full from having the same no. thing. <laughs> so thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. We have five department heads to introduce today. First one, Barbara Lillyhorn, Department of Aging, our cat director, has been with us for ten years. Here's your spot. Thank you. All right, thank you. <laughs> Kyle Berg, 30, did I say 35 years? Yeah. 35 years. Going on 36, so there's your clock. All right, congratulations, Kyle. 
Um, I'm just going to present the five-year award to Linda Womack. She's been a great asset to our agency. She uh, gets to do some of our tougher cases, and she also gets to do our batter's intervention program. So she's a great asset to our agency. Well, everybody knows Brad Wright, Reno County Appraiser's Office, and out of 14 employees that we have there in the office, Cindy is has put in 25 years. I believe you are the card holder of all the years at this time. So it's with great pleasure that I present her with her award. My name is Donna Patton and I'm the county clerk and I have two that are getting awards today. The first one is Karen Fisher and she's our payroll clerk and she's been with us for 10 years. Thank you. You're welcome. And the next one we have is Jenna Fager and she's my election deputy and she's been with us for 15 years. I just want to say that the Sheriff's Office is comprised of 83 uh, full-time deputies along with 12 civilian support staff along with uh, part-time civilian staff. We have 101 employees and today we're going to recognize 24 of those and we'll start with the five-year five -year block uh, and Levi Connor. Come <laughs> I just want to thank you for your five years of service Look at these gifts. Drop all this stuff. Uh, Jerrica Correo. It's a royal. Well, it's a royal. It's a royal. You are, you are correct. Uh, so, came from Sumner County, and thank you for five years continuous service for Bale County. Thank you very much. Eric De La Cruz. Yeah. Yeah. I'll accept it on his behalf. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta accept your Spanish. See. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lori Ford. Uh, on her behalf as well. Oh, man. All right. We're just singing right through these. That's really cool. Amber Graves. She's not here. Another right. acceptance on her behalf. Francisco. Good years. John Hendricks. He's here. Uh, Okay, so I gotta say something about this guy. <laughs> First off, this guy uh, came and he was on a reserve program for 13 years. 13 years, and he was very dedicated to the patrol division. He would come out on weekends, uh, throughout the week. He completed the FTO program, which for a reserve is very difficult. It's, you gotta dedicate a lot of your personal time to complete the FTO program. And then he came on full time a little over five years ago, and uh, we appreciate your service. Dana Hill. <laughs> and Dana started out in the back office. And now she works in the Warren Division, and we appreciate your continued yeah. service. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Shannon Martinez. Shannon is one of our uh, offender registration personnel, and we really appreciate your dedicated service. Thank you so much. Matthew Mondrak. Again, Matthew started in the, in the jail division as a jail deputy and is on the patrol division now. And appreciate your dedication. Uh, Jackie is not here. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
But Travis started out in our jail division as well, and he has progressed, and he's now our courthouse security deputy. And we appreciate the good Thank you. Christopher Massengill. <laughs> so, this, guy, this guy came, he was our reserve program, uh, he was a reserve deputy, and he left and went full time uh, to Derby, Kansas, and then he wanted to come back home where he started and has been here ever since, we appreciate your service, buddy. Thank you. Uh, Andrew Soule. So Andrew was on a construction crew up in Manhattan, Kansas. And I was a detective that uh, did his, uh, well, part of his uh, background investigation when he got hired. And uh, started in jail, went to patrol, the drug unit, and now you're a detective sergeant. So, okay. congratulations and thank you. Uh, sergeant Warnke. So, interesting thing about uh, Sergeant Warnke is that I, I believe I did your background investigation also. <laughs> and uh, we start. <laughs> Couldn't dig up any dirt. Congratulations, you started in the jail and does, does an awesome job and runs a detail and makes sure that the soldier runs smooth. So thank you for your presentation. Yeah, yeah. Ah, Captain McClay. 15, 15 years of service. So, uh, Captain McClay started out in the jail just like every deputy does, uh, progressed to patrol, went to the drug unit, uh, spent a uh, good amount of time there, and went to sergeant detectives, and then floated the captain. And now he runs our jail facility and does a damn good job. Clay Beard. So Clayton uh, began with the county in uh, Bob Johnson's youth shelter and came to us. Uh, works in the jail. He's part of our stat program, our transport, but he does a lot of additional duties in, on top of that. And uh, for that, we thank you very much. And, and here's a plaque for your 20 years of service. Yeah. 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 So uh, so 20 years dedicated service to Reno County and you've been with uh, the Sheriff's Office how long? Five years with the Sheriff's Office started out in Bob Johnson's and Jana takes very good care of us takes very good care of the deputies on classes she, she makes sure that we have treats snacks and uh, she takes care of the diet dietary uh, requirements for the inmates and you do a very good job thank you and thank you very much background. <laughs> no, not by any means. So Lance, uh, of course, is 30 years of service. That's a long time, and uh, you've dedicated a lot, a lot more than that. Um, law enforcement, uh, has, as most of it, all of us know, um, it, it absorbs and become very uh, consumed a lot of your personal time as well. And over 30 years, I know it's absorbed a lot of your time, a lot of Angie's time, and a lot of your, your other family's time as well. He's also a legacy. Uh, he has a, a, a sister that retired as a captain and had uh, his father retired from our civil process office. Um, I worked with, with Lance on the street. Um, good time. Yeah, we had a, a lot of good times and, and just came up the ranks and he's a patrol sergeant and he takes very good care of uh, scheduling and of the details and his people. Thank you so much for your dedication. I'm Brenda Coetz, I am the treasurer, and I am pleased to give Rochelle Calvert her five-year award. She has been here since March of 15, so actually a week or so away from six years. And anyway, Rochelle plays a huge part in our office 
dedicated to the point. So we certainly appreciate you. So um, we have two awards to give out today. I'm going to ask Christina to come up first. They're, Christina's been with us for five years. And the plaque is pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, more, it's, it's nicer than the one I got when I was here five years. But that's, but that's good because that means they're getting better yeah. downstairs. Yeah. And so I'm going to give you your plaque. Thank you. And your. Thank you. And. So, thank you for all the work you do. I mean, everybody knows what Christina does. She sits all alone in that room <laughs> all day long and, and works on DVDs and, and, and recordings and get, makes sure that the defense gets them. So we could not operate the office without what she does, or we could, but we would all be in trouble with the courts. So, <laughs> so we, I appreciate very much all that you've done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank could you, you hold your plaque up there? Next time? Yeah, thank you. There you go. Yeah, just like that. Thank you, guys. There we go. One, two, three. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. All right. Our second award. I don't know. <laughs> and by the way, they give these out every five years, so that's why. Second award from Natasha. We'll just, do, we'll just start with, with this, and, okay. and she can get the pictures. Okay, so what does Natasha do? Not much. No, kidding. <laughs> Natasha, you know, so not, Natasha's been here five years, obviously, and uh, she's come a long way in that five years. She's uh, she started out in traffic like most people do, and moved up into uh, possession charges, and now she's the distribution queen of the office. She she got the she got the uh, the opportunity, I would say, to, to take on a lot of my cases when I became district attorney. Uh, and she's doing a great job. She does a lot of search warrants and she does a really good job. She's, she's really become a very strong prosecutor and I appreciate her work very much. So uh, everybody, uh, again, I want to thank Natasha for all the work she does here and uh, thank the whole team for all that, all that we do. So thanks everybody. Thank you. And you got a nice plaque too. I know. All right. Thank you. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Carla Nichols. I am the director for the health department. So I have several employees um, that are receiving awards, um, but some are very shy, so do not want to come on the camera. Um, so Karen Hammersmith is here, and she has been with the health department for five years. So thank you so much, Karen. Thank you very much for your service for the health department. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Laura Reyes has been with us for five years. She, um, she is not here. Pamela Washburn has been with us for five years. Brenda is here and has been with us for 15 years. She helps us with our WIC um, department. So thank you very, very much, Brenda, for all your service to the health, yes. health department. Thank you. Then our other employees are, is Ruby uh, Slavensburg, and she's been with us for 20 years. And then Diane Sanders, she's been with us for 25 years. So um, thank you guys for helping us and being at the health department, and thank you so much. I want to give this to Mike Matthews. 30 years with Reno County. Technology sure changed during that time, huh? <laughs> So Art Miller has uh, been here for five years. Last year, actually, just uh, got his sixth year anniversary just this week. So uh, he worked for us uh, for the county for several years, about 20 years ago, and uh, and then left for about 15 and, and came back. So we're lucky to have him. He's he's a great tech and a good guy, and, and we appreciate him. And so there, Art, there's your plaque, and thank you very much. Right. You can have this too. Oh, here's a bag, or it's not a bag, but it's a little protective sheet. Thank you, thank you. Mickey? Thank you. 
Nikki has been with us for 10 years and started as a custodian, uh, became a custodial supervisor for a number of years, and then has been uh, uh, maintenance tech one, and now a maintenance tech two, does a lot of work at the jail and basically anywhere we need her. Uh, been rapidly learning a lot of things involving uh, HVAC uh, maintenance, troubleshooting, repair, and all that. And uh, we're lucky to have her. She's been a great employee. Thanks, Nikki. Mm -hmm. Donna. Donna Estrada has been with the county for 30 years uh, and is retiring uh, here in a month or so. But uh, Donna's been on our custodial crew working second shift for a very long time. Uh, many of those years over at the community corrections building primarily. But uh, Donna, we appreciate you and, and thank you for all your service. I didn't want to leave people, but I got some. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Harry, I really appreciate your service. You're a very dedicated employee, and to work one place for 40 years is an awesome task. Thank you. You're welcome. Angels of getting her five-year award. Right. Congratulations. Thank you. And I will tell you, in her five years of being here with us, she's been Employee of the Month three times and the Employee of the Year for 2016. Yay. And a she does an excellent job with our kids. She's one of the ones that the kids come to all the time when they have trouble. She knows what to do. She's always very willing to help supervision does a very good job and we're so honored to have her and she's only been here five years that's great right. congratulations <laughs> that's good that's right <laughs> and now we have a five-year award for miss Paige Chamberlain thank you you're welcome and Paige she's almost like a twin to Angel she's been employee of the month three times she was the employee of the year in 2000 and um, I'm sorry, 2016, and you were 2000. I had my numbers wrong. Um, is that right? 17. 17? Okay, I'm sorry. So anyway, but Paige is a master in this. She knows the kids. She is routine. Paige is, or she has um, energy. She completes all tasks that need to be done, and a lot of times it's not even on her job duties, but she gets it done, and we are very fortunate to have her. Thank She's you. an awesome worker, so thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Our next employee is Kathleen Carter. Hi. Kathleen's been here for 10 years. 10 and a half. Ten and a half. <laughs> it took you a half to get me here. <laughs> oh, I worked on you a lot more sooner than that. <laughs> oh, good. She works for Intake and Assessment and has uh, been one of the most consistent uh, staff members to cover for open hours, comes in the middle of the night, covers lots of weekends. She does an excellent job as, of mediating with families and crisis management. We're very lucky to have her, and she's very flexible. So thank you for your 10 years, Kathleen. Okay. It's been a long, like I told them last time, five years is like dog years. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. It's well, a, we appreciate you. It's a long, <laughs> long, long, long 10, 10 years. 10 and a half. And in fact, I'm the first on call, and I hope I'm not the last. <laughs> very good. Thank All you, right. Kathleen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Next on the list is Roger Willis. Raja has been with us for 20 years. And he started out on the floor and has worked his way to be supervision of detention. He is the uh, steady, calm person in detention most of the time. He's very laid back and he's able to handle a lot of crisis with very little stress. 
and that you do it well because the kids go to you for that guidance yeah. and we appreciate that. It's like a duck on the water. You're all calm on the outside, but underneath your feet are just kicking like crazy. <laughs> but you don't show that. So you, you have that calming demeanor that the kids need to see. Well, it, it hasn't seemed like 20 years to me. It's more like 10. So. Now, is this 20 years include the time when you were... No. no okay, so you were is, here before for how long? This is almost 26 altogether. Okay, because yeah. you were here for six, you left, and then come back. Okay, mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah. Yes, thanks. You got silly on us and left. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Congratulations. Barbara Clark. <laughs> now, Barb has been with the county for 25 years, right? Correct. And you've been with us 11? No, it'll be 10. 10, in okay, June. in June. Mm -hmm. So, we're glad to have you back on our side. <laughs> Barb is the one that keeps us all in line with our weekly or monthly notes of what we need to be doing every week or throughout the month. She keeps us in books. She keeps me updated on things I got to get done, <laughs> sign. She's awesome. She takes care of a lot of us for other reasons and she's very compassionate and always asks everybody how they're doing and follows up with any issues with families. So she's a very great member of our team. Thank you very much. Yes. Carolyn Colvin. We have a lot of 25 years this year. Did you guys get all hired at the same time? I think I was the last of the... Last, last of the 25? Yeah, because Paul and I got hired yeah, at the same time. Yeah, and Kelly. So Carolyn is our placement coordinator, and Carolyn started out as a intake and assessment officer, correct? Mm -hmm. And then a placement coordinator, was it called a placement coordinator too? Mm -hmm. And uh, now she's our, really our case manager is what <laughs> she's now. So she's evolved with her job and she owns her job. I mean, nobody else does her job. Um, she brings our kids to us. She finds the best pick for the family that we have here currently. And uh, it's a challenge, but she does it well. And she has a hard worker at it. So we appreciate that. Thank you. Let's see, Paul Johnston. Paul, over here. Everybody got such light things. Paul's been with us for 25 years, and he's been a cornucopia position as well, right? Yep. You started on the floor, and then you did placement coordinator too? Yep. Is that the next step over? I was detention, part-time, then full-time, second shift, shelter, then placement coordinator, then second shift shelter supervisor, second shift detention supervisor, and then third shift. See, that's what makes good supervisors. They've done every job that's in this building. So it makes you very valuable when you have to help out with the floor and, the, and things like that. So he's been our night shift supervisor now for quite a while. Uh, Keeps it smooth, running smooth. 16 years. With medications and file reports. And so he does a good job with that. And we appreciate your service, Paul. Thank you. Next was on the list was Kelly Lott, and she had 25 what? years, but she's not here today. Yeah, yeah, so Patricia, Pat as we know her, Willis, 25 years. Now Pat has started out on the floor as well. She was one of my standby. staff. Yes, a standby. So years ago and moved up the ranks, and now she's second shift supervisor in shelter. And I call her the child whisperer because she is phenomenal with children. She can read them like a book. She knows how to calm them down read or direct them and that's why the sh that shift runs as well as it does because it's a busy shift and she does an yes. awesome job so we appreciate it very much Thank very you. much 